Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. In today's vehicle video, I've got a brand new 2023 Toyota Highlander L Edition. It's the entry level of the Highlander. In this video, I'm going to uh, dive inside and we'll take a look at all the great interior features on the L Edition. And then be sure and watch for a link at the end of this video for the exterior review. But let's go ahead and jump in. So let's uh, take a quick look on the driver's door and then we'll grab a seat. Driver's door is all black and then this one has the light gray interior. So light gray fabric insert here, soft tech fabric here, black all around including your door handle. On the up, upscale versions like the LE, XLE, this is going to be a chrome or a silver door handle. Power mirrors are standard. And again, on this one I want to point out there are a lot of great standard features. So even though it's entry level, it's not basic, that's for sure. Power door locks. One touch up and down on all four windows and, and they're all backlit. A little bit of silver trim on the inside. Pockets on the doors, bottle holders, speakers down here, and a puddle light down here as well. Taking a look at the uh, driver's seat and interior. So this is a cloth interior. It's a, as I said, it's the lighter gray. It's a bucket seat, pretty darn comfortable with a height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belts, side airbags built right in the seat. So when you move the seat forward, the airbags are in the perfect position. Power driver's seat. So power forward, backwards, power recliner on there. Uh, passenger seats manual, no lumbar support but it's unusual for a basic vehicle to have a power driver's seat, so lots of great extras. Four vents across the front, left, right, up, down. Odometer uh, switch here, dimmer switch for your uh, dash lights. Automatic high beams on and off. By the way, this has auto high beams and automatic on and off. This is your automatic engine start on and off, so when you get to a stoplight, you can set it to turn off the engine. Get you a little bit better fuel economy. A little storage cubby down here. Hood release, gas door release, dead pedal. You're braking your gas exactly where you'd expect them. And then we do have a tilt and a telescoping uh, steering wheel as well. Okay, let's uh, grab a seat. So behind the wheel of the Highlander, there is uh, quite a bit of room up here, lots of leg room, plenty of headroom. The L edition does not come with a sunroof, so definitely get a lot of, lot of headroom. If you're a taller person, you're going to be just fine. Leg room for the drivers is, is really nice. Uh, I've got the seat all the way back. You can see I can barely touch the pedals, so I probably would not be able to drive this myself without moving the seat forward. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that and we'll take a look at the steering wheel on here. So the steering wheel um, is a vinyl steering wheel. So not leather wrap, it is padded, it is comfortable, but not leather. It's not heated on the L. Leather and heated steering wheel is available on the upscale versions of the Highlander. This side, we've got our cruise control settings, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure, and we can change the radio stations right here as well. Up here are your wiper controls for the front wipers and the rear, and both of them have intermittent settings on there. Driver's side airbag, of course, a little bit more of that silver trim around here, similar to what we saw over here on the door, so tying that together nicely. They also use it up here in the, um, in the vents for your heating and air conditioning. Over on this side, there's controls for the information center. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. We've got Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, voice activation, and volume uh, for your radio all right here on the, on the steering wheel. Headlight controls are here. As I mentioned earlier, we have automatic on and off for your headlights, automatic high beams, no fog lights. Take a look at our, our gauge cluster before I start it. So silver bezels kind of around the speedometer, and, and your um, fuel gauge. Let's go ahead and start it. We do have smart keyless entry, so you've got a push button start. Also a uh, remote entry here for your fob. You get, of course, you get two of those. And uh, in order to start it, make sure you put your foot on the brake, push the pedal in and away you go. So the gauges are kind of a, uh, a white on black backlit gauge tachometer, temperature gauge here, speedometer, fuel gauge over there, and then here's your information center. 
and in the information center you've got outside temperature you've got a seat belt warning so if you have little ones in the back it'll tell you if they have their seat belts on or not that's a great feature uh, clock up there and then on this side we've got our information controls here so if we want to move and toggle through some of these settings we can do it so we've got a fuel computer we've got a uh, driver support which gives you your compass there's your radio settings here's tire pressure monitoring and then you can change your safety sense settings there as well so everything's done right here on the steering wheel fingertip pretty easy to use take a look at our center stack so for 2023 this is an all-new system this is your L edition so this is going to be the entry-level uh, uh, sound system or multimedia system um, it's an 8-inch screen um, touch screen you'll notice there's not a lot of switch buttons they actually got rid of like nine buttons around the edge and all you have is the volume uh, control right here and then of course you can also control the volume over here on the steering wheel but there used to be buttons all the way down the side so they really cleaned that up nicely uh, don't want to activate it entirely but I did want to show you the the uh, screen itself so I'm going to move through a couple of these settings here so of course we have FM we have AM we have Cirrus um, let me go back so we have Cirrus radio get three months of the platinum subscription uh, for free and then after that you pay a monthly fee if you want to continue that XM uh, satellite radio Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. So this is your entry level. It does have backup uh, backup um, screen as well. So I'm going to throw it in reverse so you can see that. And it does have a grid, but it's not path projection. So these don't move as you turn your steering wheel. It's pretty darn good visibility uh, for the entry level. Um, so it really you know, covers the basics really great from that perspective down below there we've got our heating and air conditioning controls so we do have dual climate controls front driver front passenger and then there's also rear controls for the backseat passengers front window defrost rear window defrost which also by the way turns on the heated outside mirrors to clear those off whatever's going on outside there and then surprisingly the L edition also has this switch here which is an electronic front window de-icer Again, just a bonus, I think, on a vehicle that you know typically is your entry level. Two vents here, uh, four ways are here, little storage compartment down here, and throw your smartphone or what have you. There's another one over here. I love this uh, graphite painted trim through here. There's an airbag over here, and then there's a side curtain airbag up there as well. This is a padded stitched dash, so this is a soft tech fabric here. We've got a nice size glove box which does have a key lock on it and then of course you do get your owner's manuals there as well. Heading back over to the center here, point out some of the features there. I'm just going to get this out of the way. There's four different places to, or four different chargers here including a 12 volt down underneath there and then this is just a deep pocket to be able to store uh, things, maybe your smartphone. Two cup holders are here we've got our snow control here traction control on and off we've got our parking brake or our brake hold a parking brake and then we've got drive modes so there's a sport a normal and an eco drive mode and there is a visual indicator up on the gauge cluster so i'm just going to go up here and i'll show you what i mean so right there it says sport and this is red and then if i go to normal it goes white and says normal and then if i go to uh, eco it goes blue and reads eco so you can control it down here but you can always see what mode you're in up there as well take a look at the uh, armrest so this does not open like a door it's kind of like a roll top desk so you push the button and slide it back like so underneath the armrest there's quite a bit of storage first there's an odds and ends tray right here you can take that out and then this is really nice and deep and there's another 12 volt outlet here so again that gives you five different places to plug stuff in just in the front seat here's a quick look at the passenger seat it's the same bucket seat with the adjustable headrest adjustable seat belt passenger assist handle lighted vanity mirrors um, on the l edition 
the mirrors extend out like this. And then overhead we've got, let's see, lighting here, uh, safety connect, that's for roadside assistance right there. And then there's a nice place for your sunglasses. And then we also have the kid catcher mirror, so a convex mirror there to be able to keep an eye on the kiddos. So lots of great features up front. This one has the frameless mirror. That's an extra charge of 175. It's a larger mirror than the regular mirror. And it also has some switches underneath here for home links, so to run your garage door openers. But it is not an automatic dimming mirror. It is the old school flip the switch um, day night mirror. But uh, still pretty nice option, especially if you're trying to keep your eyes on your kids in the back seat. So that's a quick look up front. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the back seat. So diving into the back, the doors are identical to up front, but there's no puddle light on the bottom of these doors. There are speakers and bottle holders down there as well. I wanted to show you the, the seating configuration. So this is an eight passenger, two, three, and three in the back as well. Although the little ones are gonna need to jump into the back. There's a plenty of room up here. You take a look at how much leg room there is. And those seats are not all the way back, all the way forward. They're, I think they're almost all the way back. Um, so let me show you the back seats here. This seat, just pull this handle, this handle right down here, and then it goes into that position. And the kids, the little ones can, you know, wiggle their ways up, up through there and get up inside of there. Um, there are three seat belts back there, adjustable headrest, and uh, a little later in the video when I go in the trunk, I'll show you how to fold those down. But there's pretty darn good room back there. There's heating, there's heat vents back there so the little ones can, you know, stay warm or keep cool in the springtime or in the summertime. Um, so there's pretty good room back there. These seats also um, fall forward. Uh, let me see if I can get this to do this. Pull that forward, bring this down, get down, sorry about that. And so they do fold forward like that. If you've got long items, you need to run up through the back as well. So that's kind of how that works. These headrests are height adjustable back here as well. And then I wanna jump in the seat here, show you how much room there is. So from this seat right here, um, it is, I can slide it forward and backwards. So if I need more room in that way back seat, I can do that. But if I bring it back, look at how much leg room there is there. That is a lot of knee room. Uh, pockets here, here. Uh, heating and air conditioning controls down here. Remember, there's three different uh, temperature controls, so the back seat passengers can control their own. There's uh, USB-C chargers down there. And then passenger assist grips, coat hooks, vents. Overhead lighting back here. Three seat belts in the center row. And a folding armrest with cup holders. So if I bring this up, I can easily sit, sit three people back here and that seat slides forward separate from this one. You can see there's a separation between those. So really a lot of room back here for adults. Even if you have a tall person driving, you're still gonna have a lot of room in the back seat. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Diving into the trunk, uh, I want to let you know that tailgate is not a power operated on the L edition. It is available on the Highlander on the upscale versions, but I do like the fact that it pops up nice and high out of your way. A shorty like me will not bonk his head on that one. So as far as the opening, it's really unobstructed. I've got the back seats up right now. I wanted to really demonstrate how much how much room's behind here. So plenty of room for groceries for sure. I mean, it's probably 18 inches all the way forward. This one does have the all weather floor liners. So it's an extra charge, this cargo mat, which also covers the backs of the seats. Underneath the cargo mat here, there's a storage compartment as well. Kind of a hidden storage compartment. This, is, this does not lock up, but it is hidden out of sight, out of mind. And your tools for your um, spare tire to change a tire are there. But you can also put jumper cables, uh, first aid kits, other emergency equipment in the back here as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then finally, there's a little bit of a storage compartment right over here. 
Um, it's pretty, actually pretty deep, so it goes down quite a ways. Another place to throw, uh, you know, things that you don't want to be seen by the by the naked eye, if you will. There's a um, hook here, and there's one on the other side here for your um, grocery bags or a cargo net. And then notice the back seats fold down 60 or 40 percent, and they're pretty easy to fold down. So take this little tab right here, flop it forward. And what you're going to see is that headrest will drop all the way down by itself, take care of itself. So that's 60%. And then this side's going to run you that 40%. Pop that up. And take a look at how much space there is in this now. So really a, a lot of room. If you're going to go camping, maybe a weekend or an overnighter, you could fit uh, an air mattress at back here pretty easily. And then your back seats do have cup holders. There's tie downs in the back here. Uh, cup holders over on this side, tie downs. The one thing that's missing back here is there are no plugs for uh, plugging in your electronics. Uh, there are on the upscale other versions, but the L edition does not come with those, but that is a tremendous amount of space back there. And uh, the nice thing about it is if you come up through here, you can access that as well and like i say if you're going for the weekend there's also nice room in here to be able to throw your overnight bags and such so you can really load this thing up for a uh, nice weekend trip